everyone, and welcome back to Pyro Falcon's Let's Play Extravaganza, where we are playing SimCity. Specifically, we are in Swaggin City, named after Dr. Swag, the first city of, of the second quadrant. The second quadrant will eventually have an international airport, but first things first. So we uh, set up our town in the last episode. We're making money quite fast. We're at 57000 we're going to just go ahead and pay off the uh, least... Nah, fuck it. We'll do the most expensive bond. Get that out of here. Okay. Um, and we will... Let's see. I'll drop some money on a new oil pump jack. Road grade too steep. Ah. Yeah, let's just... Let's just... There. And oil pump jack here. We are doing some bizarre things with the land, man. EA yeah, really needs to just give us the tools to dick with the land as much as we want to. Alright, so, um, doing alright so far. Uh, let's check the population balance again. Um, 161 available jobs. Okay, we're doing alright. Uh-oh. Network disconnected, connection restored. That's good. Because if I lose internet connection for too long, I think the game kicks me out. But, uh, anyway... So, um, we're doing okay? We need some more, uh, medium wealth people down here. I wonder why we're not getting as many medium wealth people. Well, let's see. Let's, uh, upgrade this section. Well, how is happiness, anyway? Ugh, never mind. Yeah, it probably won't matter. We don't have enough services in here to make everybody happy. But I do know that health seems to be the biggest problem, all right? problem right now, so we're going to go ahead and open a clinic. And, uh, that should help out. But, let's see. Crime and fire. Oh, yeah, let's get a fire station. Since fires can happen anytime. Um. Yeah, we'll place it here. Oh. Except I can't. How much do I need? 20 grand. Oh, look. I just got it. So we need, you know what, I think one car will do for now. There we go. Or one fire truck, rather. Okay, well, I should do it. Um, we should be pretty safe. We have no police protection at the moment. But I think we'll be alright. And the Vu Tower here. Oh, we need more criminals to unlock Vu Tower. Well, that's good to know. Well, we will get that uh, as we go along here since, like I just said, we have no police protection. That's fine. And the region is yelling at me, whatever. Yes, I know. It still bothers me that there's we don't see the freaking um, arcology over here because we finished it. I know we finished it. Of course we finished it. <laughs> that was the whole point of the first 63 or 64 episodes of this Let's Play. So... Um, but anyway, now that we've basically got things established here, there will be a lot of time skips and fast forwards because, uh, it's going to be fairly redundant to the first, uh, quadrant. I mean, <clears throat> except for certain specific things I'm going to do to each city, which I will record and, um, play back for you guys. Uh, there's really not a whole lot more that's going to happen, you know? But, um, you know, we'll, we'll get there. We will, we will, uh... Yeah. We will uh, continue to expand the city and do awesome things with it, hopefully. Density is still... Yeah. Okay. Whatever. It's probably because we don't have a whole lot of stuff going on. Okay. Um, since we have a lot of money, education is overpowered in this game, as we all know. So I'm going to plop an elementary school... And, of course, lay down some buses here. Because if we can keep people from being stupid and burning down their houses every five seconds, we'll be in good shape. So, let's... That was a little terrifying. Alright, so... 
The other thing with not, uh, with forcing the houses to pick a certain specific orientation, um, relative to the streets is that placing these bus stops is going to be way easier. Because I won't have to, for example, place stops here and here as well, because there aren't anyone who lives on those straights, so... Kind of works out. There we go. Okay, all residential zones are covered. We only have 404 students, and we can only... What's our capacity? 350? 150. Ugh. Well, we'll expand the uh, grade school later. We don't ha really have the funds to do it right now. So we've basically got everything here except for police protection. What do you want? Ah, uh, Mayor Pyrofalcon. I'm Dr. Vu's right-hand man. Awesome. All right. So I'll get 10 grand when I... I like the way the window is now. Be, or... Because the window didn't used to give... Stay open. Stay open. Or fine, I'll just hover. The, uh... Until update, I think, 8.1, they didn't put the reward on the window here. And it was always hard to remember what the reward was. So I'm glad they did that. Not all of EA's updates were stupid. Actually, <laughs> update 7 was a game changer. Literally. What... Lido's are in New England are fine. Stop yelling at me. Why is this yelling at me anyway? It's not like I can do anything about it. Not from over here. Jeez. Okay. Um. Alright. Okay, so it looks like we're doing alright. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and slap down some more residential zones here. Yeah. Like so. Um, I think those are within the range of the, uh, not completely. Oh, well. Um, so hopefully, uh, we'll start getting some richer clientele into the city. Uh, we've got plenty of available jobs, but we, we're, we're, we've got a pretty good balance. I mean, this is the number that, um, uh, now that, now that EA, what, what, what update was it? Six that rebalanced the RCI demands. Um, I think, uh, it, I, I just go off the detail in the population graph here, rather than worrying about trying to look at the graphic RCI meter, because the graphic RCI meter doesn't tell you jack shit, and it's very difficult to plan a city around it, so, whatever. What do you want? We have a lot of crude oil here. Let's make a petroleum HQ. Okay. I will likely do that. I don't think I can plop it yet. I need a lot more oil. Yeah. I'm not even at 10% of the amount of oil I need. Oh, fire. Oh, yeah, I forgot about garbage collection. Um. Yeah. Sorry, lady. I totally forgot. Uh, right, garbage collection. So, yeah, we'll put it, uh... If I put it here, can I even make a, uh... Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, that works. Alright, there we go. So, now the garbage problem is solved. And all sorts of other problems are popping up. Classrooms are full. Yes, I know. Fire service is slow. I don't care. Not enough garbage trucks. Fuck off. I just built you. Man, you guys are demanding. You've been here for literally five seconds, and you're already complaining to me that you don't have enough trucks. Well, you know what? Get your asses in gear. I mean, you have, but get your asses more in gear. Let's watch them. I actually... <laughs> I mentioned before, I love watching the trucks on <laughs> on these views. So we'll see if they can get to all the uh, garbage in time. If not, we'll build some more trucks. Not a problem. Looks like they're doing alright. They picked up a third of the garbage in only like two hours. So they should be alright. Man, sims produce a lot of trash. Gosh. So we're still making a profit. It's just not as healthy of one, but... Um, with a population of only 2,700 people, 
I don't think you really need police stations. Um, certainly you don't need any of the advanced buildings. So this should be okay for now. Um, you know what? So, so. The, the incinerator doesn't really help me at the moment, so we'll just shut that off. And I'll flip it back on once uh, we start filling up the landfill. I need to start burning some of that garbage off. What do you want? Walk in the park! If you can get 100 sims into our parks in the next three days, then it's yours. Okay, do it. I mean, who cares? It's not like that's any risk against me, so... Look at how fast that's filling up. We'll be fine. All right, back to the garbage map. I think I overestimated the efficiency of my garbage trucks. There are a lot of roads they have to go to. Oh, they do seem to... um have a much smarter way of uh, maneuvering around the city to pick up garbage in the right spot, so. That's good. Oh, and it won't take them as long when they hit the wealthier areas. Since, uh, there are fewer houses down that road. Go, guys, go. You can do it. Pick up that garbage. Trash that trash. Yeah. Go, garbage trucks, go. Did I tell this story? I can't remember. My grandmother was a very um, traditionalist woman. Is a traditionalist woman. To the point where, like, she once bluntly told me that unless I was a doctor or a teacher, then I wasn't living up to my potential and I was a, you know, I, I wasn't worth being in the family for. And she was horrified because when I was, I think, five or six, the first time I said I wanted a job, you know, because when you're a little kid, you basically want to be a superhero or a ninja or something. I actually wanted to be a garbage man because I thought it would be really freaking cool to ride around on the garbage trucks. And uh, my grandmother hit the goddamn roof. I mean, she flipped out. She's like, you know, no grandson of mine is going to be a garbage truck driver. It's like, sorry. I mean, she got really mad at me, and I was freaking six years old. I mean, it's one thing. I understand you want to tell kids from an early age that they can live up to their potential to encourage them to do good things and stuff. But, you know, I'm six, and I like big, loud trucks. I don't think that's worth screaming at me for. My grandmother thought differently, but that's fine. Screw her. Except don't, because she's old and gross. But anyway... Oh, hey, I was just about to bitch that we have two more cans of garbage that you idiots didn't pick up. All right, good job. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, see, so we only need two trucks. Doing all right. Now, what direction is this house facing? That's what I thought. Go away. That is not the direction I want you to face. We're going to dezone that. Make sure you don't pull that bullshit again. Very strict directions here, people. Very strict. If you don't want to line up correctly, then GTFO, I have no use for you. What do you want? Waiting room is filled to the brim. What? Why? We don't have that many sims in this freaking city. Fine, here's another patient wing. Are you happy? It's funny how bad healthcare is uh, with this game. I would say this needs recalculating unless this truly is by design, which it might be. But it seems to me that um, your clinic fills up really freaking fast. And it's it doesn't take very long before, if you add as many patient wings as the game wants you to add, that your clinic is going to be about as expensive as just plopping a hospital. Um, so that will probably happen sooner than later. Uh, as we go along here. I hope it doesn't. I hope we can just maintain it like this with the clinic for a while, but we'll see. Alright, so everything seems to be in working order. Again, we're only making $459 an hour, which is not much. However, we are shipping out crude oil pretty quickly. Um, we don't have a whole lot of crude oil down there, but we have enough that it should get us through... Um, the early days just enough so we can start uh, producing enough money to start funding the other cities 
And of course, the uh, the the um, best part about the about city number six, which will be our tourism city, is that city will be able to produce infinite money uh, rather than having to worry about resources to deal with. Um, which is why, personally, I like those cities the best. But uh, you know, it's it's a different challenge, obviously. What? 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 Small fires everywhere. Oh no! Look at that. You guys did great. You put out both small fires. Two fires is not fires everywhere. Stop being a drama queen, dude. Oh, uh, did that get abandoned? Oh, crap. Oh, well. Someone will buy it eventually. Once we have a bit more money, we'll, we'll add a second fire truck to our fire station, and we'll be all right. And you're still complaining about full classrooms, aren't you? Oops. That is not the school. What do I do with the school? Oh, there it is. How much is a wing going to cost me? Ten grand. Oh. That's... That's not awful. Let's see. That would add another 200. So really, I would need two wings, which would be 20,000. Which would add 400 per hour to the cost, which is already 600. That'd be 1,000 per hour for the cost. Whereas if I just build a freaking high school, then I'll have far more people of a capacity at less cost. Excellent. We're just going to save up for a high school. I don't know why I built a grade school in the first place. I know in the older Sim Cities, um, if I remember right, I might be mixing up my games. I thought in older Sim Cities, the high school was the only one that mattered unless you really needed a college. And that building a grade school only increased the education of your Sims long term, but was not ever demanded although honestly I could be mixing that up with Tropico another city builder game that I love because I know in Tropico it worked that way that in Tropico you built a high school and that was the main thing that you worried about and you only built a grade school if you really wanted to do some long term good by brainwashing your children um, other some cities might have worked like that though I can't remember but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and experiment with that. Uh, once we can afford... Yeah. Once we can afford our high school, I'm just going to blow up the grade school or shut it down at least. I'll just shut it down just in case. Um, oh, good. Uh, oh, can we afford it now? 60000 Um, So we can almost afford it. Another uh, shipment of crude oil and we'll be good to go. Producing 3,900 barrels per day. Uh, about a third of the way there for uh, um, to get enough oil ship that we can place a, a, a petroleum HQ. Although I'm not so sure it's really necessary. Unless I really just want to place... Um, unless I start wanting refining oil. Well, I guess that's the way for we should go for money. So yeah, I'll, I'll just do that. Um, once we get enough cash... Uh, but one thing at a time. Right now we're just saving up for that 60 grand. Come on, guys. We're in triple speed. Go faster. Go faster, go faster, go faster. Go all of the fast. You can do it. I think when I build my high school, I'll start running in, running in the red then, too. And now the police are having problems. Well, that's fine. Because... <laughs> I actually want to encourage evil for now so we can uh, eventually get Dr. Vu's tower. So I don't care if the criminals run loose. Let them run loose. Let them have fun. This will be a nice um, evil city for all of us. Uh, sorry, Dr. Swag, if you uh, didn't envision your city going to the dogs. But, hey. Yeah, as the Akamura just said behind me, it's we're turning this shit into, into Detroit. So we have enough money, we're going to plop a high school. Um, stick it on the same road. Let's put a little bit away. And we're going to shut down the elementary school. And we are going to add a couple 
buses here. Enough for another one. That's okay. Can I add the sign? Yes. Okay. There we go. <sighs> we're going to smarten up these students. If we're going to students head start, blah, 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 blah. Okay. So the grade school is shut down, but the high school is operational with an 800 student capacity out of 426 students. Hopefully that means, um, again, assuming, assuming that the ages are not tracked, I don't think they are. I think SimCity only cares about your total number of student capacity. Um, but we'll see uh, soon if that indeed happens. Now, what are you complaining about? Yes, I know we are on the road to bankruptcy, but oh, look at that. One crude oil shipment. See, you had nothing to worry about, douche. Just trust your mayor. And you can trust me that I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of Power Falcon's Let's Play Extravaganza, where we will continue working on this town, even as the cops scream at me for help. And there's a murder on the loose, but uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just gonna go away now.